All right, I got another DIY project for you today. It's the uh, Hudson Bay Camp Knife. Now, the last time I was uh, talking about this knife, uh, there was a lot of things about it that I didn't like. Uh, I had found that the handle was very uncomfortable. Uh, along the along the Ricasso has all this dead space here for no reason, and it actually makes the knife harder to control and whatnot. Um, you know what, so I'm just gonna bring you in on, the, on my work buddy here, and uh, you can get a closer look at it and see what I'm talking about. Now, you can see the handle's got this kind of funny swell, which pushes your hand forward on the handle and it ends up uh, rubbing against this uh, sharp edge here uh, on at this giant ricasso here which has uh, no real purpose to be honest um, and as you uh, run down the edge it's kind of a very small scandy uh, grind that's on there they call it a convex but uh, I don't know maybe it's slightly convex but anyway um, I find this very ineffective uh, I would like to raise that up just a little bit uh, as it goes along should make it a little bit more uh, more slicey and cutty and um, the uh, the handle scales are going to come off and we're going to try making some micarta uh, that's going to be the first part of this uh, this series is going to be the my micarta uh, scales build um, and if uh, you need a little reminder about this knife I'll, uh, I'll attach a couple of a couple of clips so you can see uh, how I've how I've been using this knife so those of you who saw my uh, my overnighter video I, I did uh, not too long ago, uh, you'll, end, you'll end up seeing how I ended up uh, using this knife and that's probably the only reason why I didn't give it away or trade it or sell it or something. Uh, the equipment I'm going to be using, I, I've never done this before, I'm sure there's going to be some people out there who know how to do it better than me, but uh, this is what I, how I'm going to do it. i got some two boards here, uh, small boards, you'll see under here, one there, one there. Uh, I'm going to use that to sandwich the uh, the stuff together once it's ready. I'm going to put some uh, wax paper on there to make sure that the micarta doesn't stick to it. Um, I'm going to use some uh, Bondo fiberglass resin. Uh, I've used this for uh, repairing and um, sealing up uh, clay plant pots, uh, all kinds of stuff. This stuff is uh, really good and it hardens really nice and I think it'll do a good job for the micarta, but we'll see. Um, I've got some orange. Uh, tie-dye uh, style uh, cotton material and some black tie-dye cotton material two paint brushes to help smooth it up and of course some rubber gloves because if any of you have ever worked with this stuff once it gets on your hands and dries you're, you're finished it does not come off so um, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this project started uh, without making too much of a mess Alright guys, I've got it all clamped up here. Um, just thinking about it now, I wish I would have used a square uh, piece of uh, plywood uh, and then put the wax paper and then sandwiches it in, in between the uh, the uh, another piece of square and that way I could use my my um, my clamps that I'm using to get it down to be a pretty even. Um, it should still be pretty close and usable but uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a really hot day outside, so that my carta should set up pretty quick. But uh, I don't think we'll get into uh, into splitting it up and uh, and getting it fitted for this uh, yet. We still have to remove the scales, knock out those pins, and uh, just get it down to uh, um, a bare blank. And uh, that'll be uh, that'll be uh, part one. And then uh, we'll start working on part two. We'll start working on uh, on uh, cleaning up this this edge, getting that down, and uh, filing out all the rest of the two sides to um, to kind of uh, you know get that into a more usable more cutting style knife instead of this uh, big beast of a chopper um, it should chop just fine anyway after we're done but uh, we'll see anyway let's get these handles off there is no real magic to this basically we're just gonna take an angle grinder and uh, work away at it until the scales come off <laughs> so um, I'll put on some tunes for you I'll try to find some decent music uh, while I'm doing this and uh, and we'll take a look at it when it's done.
skill went with it. So now we're gonna try to take this guy down just a little bit, a little bit too aggressive of a bulb there for me. And uh, we'll see if we can knock out this little loop here, make that a little more comfortable for the hand. And uh, we should have a lot more space there. I'll be able to put a lanyard loop in there if I want to. So there's all kinds of things we can do. So first, we're gonna take this down, and then we're gonna take this down, and then we'll be in business. All right, so hopefully you got a better look at it here. I wanna try to take down this bulb a little bit, just a tiny little bit, see if we can get that to uh, to come down like, like maybe here, have it come even, and just slightly up at the back end. I don't want anything too fancy or too heavy in there. I just want to get rid of this big rounded chunk. It's very uncomfortable. Sorry guys, as you can see here, it's a lot less extreme than it was before. Uh, it's already gonna be quite a bit more comfortable than it was before. Uh, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna leave, I still wanna remove a little bit more of this, but I'm gonna leave that on until I fit the handles. Uh, in the final shaping, I'll be able to get rid of that. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get this notch out here and get that kind of comfortable. Um, hopefully I have a round file somewhere. If not, I'll have to improvise. But uh, let's go ahead and get this guy cut out or at least get it close and uh, then we can figure out what we're going to do from there. So now we're going to take down this guy but unfortunately we are a little bit close to the blade and uh, I'm kind of worried about the heat treat a little bit uh, of getting this too hot and messing this up. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start grinding here, pop it out, put it in there, grind it here, put it back into the water and so on. Kind of switch it back and forth. I really want to make sure that I don't over overheat um, the blade and uh, we'll see how this all turns out in the end. Thanks, Rick. Right. So here's the handle, um, pretty much finished, uh, pretty close to finish of how, I, how I'm going to want it. You'll see here, uh, I still got a little bit of straightening out to do. It doesn't help much either that the Ricasso was crooked that they did. Uh, so it was kind of hard to give myself some guidelines on how to do it. But uh, I'm going to see if I can just round that up probably a little bit more on the final cutting. But look how much more handle it gave me on there. So now if I want to get some three finger chopping or two finger chopping on there, I still got a bit of a swell for it to hold on to. Should be nice. It's got a much larger handle on it now. So... My hands can fit it. Before, when I put my hand on there, my hand pretty much swallowed up the whole end of the, the whole end of the knife, and it was forcing my hand up against that rough, uh, sharp edge. Uh, on these ones here, I'm going to round those up to make it a little bit more comfortable. But uh, we are pretty much on our way. So the final, the final uh, shaping of the handle will be done uh, on the belt sander when the micarta, my micarta is dry and on there. Right, so, so we're going to finish off the uh, the grind. We're going to change the grind, and we're going to finish off that handle. Uh, once we put the micarta scales on there, uh, that'll all be on part two. So uh, we're gonna wrap this up for now. And uh, as soon as I can, we'll get back onto this project and we'll finish this up. Uh, we'll put the scales on and we'll, uh, we'll uh, widen out that, uh, that grind on there and uh, should be ready to go. So far, so good though. Much bigger handle. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, hopefully, hopefully the micarta turns out because I'm kind of excited to see how that looks. So see you in part two guys. So the micarta seemed to have turned out okay. It's pretty even in size. Now the question remains, do I make the handle more on the black side or more on the orange side? 